In this short video, I will demonstrate the features and functionalities of Data Preview, which is now available in ABAP Development Tools for Eclipse. Data Preview offers functionality similar to that of SE16 transaction in SAP GUI, and as the name suggests, you can preview the data or the records that are persisted in the dictionary object. Data Preview is supported for dictionary tables, dictionary views, external views derived out of HANA artifact, and the core data service DDL sources. For this demonstration, I will be using the standard dictionary table s -flight. To launch the data preview, first locate the dictionary object in the project explorer of the above development tools in Eclipse. I will right click on the s -flight table and select the option open data preview. This launches the data preview and by default loads the top 100 records in the dictionary table. You can configure the maximum rows you would like to see in the max rows text box. Let me increase this to 400 records. I can press enter or click on the refresh button. Now the data preview loads the top 400 records that are persisted in the dictionary table. The maximum records you can choose to preview is restricted to 5000 records. If the table you have chosen has many columns and you don't wish to see all the columns, then you can configure this by clicking on the select columns button. Choose the columns that you would like to see and click OK. Now the top 400 records are fetched from the dictionary table but only for the columns that were selected in the previous dialog. At any point in time, if you want to preview the unique values in any column of a table, simply right click on any column, in this case CAR ID, and choose the option Distinct Values. This dialog shows the unique values in CAR ID column. There are 8 unique values and there are 318 occurrences of AA value and in amounts to 6.5% of the total distribution. You can also sort on each of these columns. Now let me find the distinct values for FL date column. The maximum values are restricted to the value I configured in the max rows text box, in this case 400. At any point in time, if you want to see the OpenSQL query which is executed to fetch these records, click on the Show Logs button. This dialog shows the list of all queries which were executed along with the time taken to execute the query. Let me double click on the most recent row and here is the OpenSQL query which was executed to fetch the distinct values for FL date. If I want the top 400 records with the most recent flight dates, I can sort by descending order on the FL date column. Data preview also allows you to add one or more filters. By using filters, you can retrieve only those records that matches the filter criteria. To demonstrate this, let me add a new filter. I click on the add filter. All the columns that I have selected are listed. Let me choose CAR ID and a filter is added. Let me enter the value AA and press enter. The query is fired and the top 400 records which matches the criteria CAR ID equal to AA are fetched. But as you see, there are only 300 records and it is no more a partial result. I can also verify this by viewing the distinct values for the CAR ID. Adding a filter for CAR ID equal to AA has fetched only those records which matches the filter criteria. Data preview allows you to add any complex filter criteria. Let me now define a criteria to filter a range of values for CAR ID. The data preview loads all those records which match all of these criteria. To verify this, I again find the distinct values on CAR ID.
as you see the records in the range AZ and SQ are filtered and the records matching the CAR ID JL and LH are filtered out. There is another shortcut for adding the filters. If I want to add an additional filter which matches all the records with FL date equal to 2014, select the FL date, right click and select the quick filter. As you see, you can use data preview to retrieve records matching any complex filter criteria. To remove any filter, simply click on the X button on the filter. Last but not the least, data preview allows you to download the previewed records to your local system. You can choose to download the previewed records in either CSV format, HTML format or the XML format. This was a short demonstration of all the features and functionalities of the data preview tool in ABAP Development Tools for Eclipse.